How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from California to get his whole forearm tattooed. It's a two-day project. We're gonna be doing the inner and outer forearm and connecting it to the top of his arm. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. El John. Oh, let's get it. You ready, my dude? Yes, sir. About time. Have a seat. Es una loca, me manda video cual es nada mientras se toca. Like I help you out. Oh, you shave, my dude. <laughs> Damn, you're so nice. <laughs> right, let me see, stretch it this way, yes sir. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, shawty, my reset, got it. It sounded English at first. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Sounds yeah. like a like a old school. Old school. Old, yeah. Old yeah. School, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 damn, relax, my dude, <laughs> chill, <laughs> quite exquisite. Quite meticulous, my dude. Meticulous. <laughs> meticulous. All right, go ahead and check it out. Make sure you like the placement. <laughs> Don't let my excitement <laughs> blind you. <laughs> so for this piece, well, my approach that I'm gonna be taking is here on this corner, uh, starting here with the statues on the bottom, I'm gonna be using a 3-1 liner with a voltage of a 5.0. Then I'm moving up to the portrait, which I'm gonna be using an 11 curve mag. Um, and then on the butterfly, probably a seven round liner with my 11 curve mag and then a seven round liner for the uh, Greek circle here. You ready, bro? I'm, ready. I'm explaining way too many okay. things. Huh? No, no, you're good. No, you're good. <laughs> you can tell me. Be like, yo, stop and tattoo, my dude. It's all good. I came here to get yatted. Here we go, we have a, I'm gonna start doing the faces now. Uh, for the faces, I'm gonna be using my 14 round liner, cartridge by Ambition. I've been using these cartridges now for some time now and I love these cartridges. Uh, that's why, you know, I keep getting them. If you guys wanna purchase some, uh, have the link on the description. First tone that I'm gonna use is my medium gray. And I'm gonna start here on the corner just to start seeing how dark my tone really is. And that's gonna allow me to know how light I should go getting closer to the highlight part of the face. Here you go, that's a nice tone, I like it. I'm gonna slowly start transitioning to my light gray. So as you can see, my tone is already changing. And I'm doing uh, layers very close to each other. That way I can make that transition quick and smooth. And then with this same tone, I'm gonna use it to uh, do the shadow here on the bottom of the chin. There you go. And I'm gonna use this tone now to use it here on the eyelid. Now here I'm, be, I'm being very careful to not add too much on the eyelid here. So I'm have my medium gray 
Just enough, just to give me that shade on the bottom. Very careful. Okay, and to finish it, I'm gonna make sure that that hair on the top is nice and crispy with my solid black. And I'm gonna be using my three round liner for this. And I'm gonna give it a nice crispy line. This is gonna help to register where the hair ends and where the forehead begins. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side and keep going with the whole piece. With my 11 curve mag, I'm gonna be doing the chin area. I'm gonna be running my machine at 5.0. And mostly for the whole thing, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be using my medium gray for me to be able to navigate through it nicely. Uh, it might change though during the, the, while I'm doing it. And uh, on the bottom of those wings, I'm gonna add like a drop shadow right there. Uh, no, thank of them, but... Sad and lonely and wondering why. Oh, mm -mm. if you ever change your mind, bring it to me, bring your sweet love. Bring it on home to me. Day number two, my dude. Ami, 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 Ami. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna be laying down for this one? You're gonna be laying down, dude. <laughs> you're gonna be like this the whole day. <laughs> I had to sleep like this, I was like. <laughs> now you're gonna sleep like this, bro. Oh, this song is just the sauce, bro. Yep, yep. I'm over here talking to myself. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. <laughs> Whispering to myself what I'm, what I'm thinking. <laughs> so I'm doing Hercules today, and the placement is the outer form because when you see a statue, it doesn't lose any, any features. Even if it stretches a little bit, it doesn't really matter because a statue has such a strong features that you're gonna know who it is from a mile away. 
you know? So that is why I chose to put Hercules on the outer and I chose to put the goddess Psyche on the inner. Perfect. See? That looks crazy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're just like, let me see. Let me, let me see. How does it look? <laughs> Go around the whole room. <laughs> A lo mejor no te llamo porque tengo el euromillo. All right, here we go. So we got the beard done, pretty much done. And right now what I'm gonna be doing is the cheek area. You can pull the chair if you want, I don't mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can record. <laughs> my little beard seminar. <laughs> <laughs> so with my 11 curve mag, what I'm gonna do is start attacking the corner of this beard here because I wanna make sure that that stands out. Um, it's a very soft area of the statue. So I'm gonna use my medium gray with my 11 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0. And this is my medium gray. I like my medium gray because I'm able to create different tones with the same tone. What I like doing is not doing such a sharp edge to the beard. There's, I, want it, I want to make it look like it's almost fading into the next thing, you know? So here you go. So first thing, I'm gonna start brushing it. Even though I'm running at a 5.0, I'm still able to pack it in because my needle depth is, is uh, really far out. And I'm able to pack it in with the lightest uh, pressure. So then after that, I'm gonna go up here just to start creating the shape of the cheekbone. It's almost like a puzzle. I, I'm, I'm putting it together and attacking the, the contrast areas first. Does it make cool? Because it makes sense when you said you know it doesn't work for your cover up, but I mean, yeah, today's uh, it's not a cover up. <laughs> a, a clean part of the arm, mm -hmm. yeah. But still, though, no. cover up or not, no rinse cup. Yeah, no rinse cup, <laughs> cover up or not. <laughs> You used to, though. I used to. Yeah. I used to for sure. So I'm doing uh, short strokes. The reason why is because it allows me to pack it in faster, less irritation, and I'm able to pack it in the way I want to. If I was doing longer strokes, it will give me uh, because it is a slow voltage. It will give me a lot of lines across it if I was moving my hand faster. But because I'm doing short strokes. It's allowing me to do smooth transitions between the, the tones here. If somebody was running their machine at eight to nine volts, maybe 10, then doing, doing longer strokes, it's doable, you know? Yeah. But definitely not with, with true grays. No. With gray wash, yes. Yeah. Because um, you don't have to pack it in. It's exactly. mostly um, just uh, brushing, brushing the skin. Yeah. Now that I have the contrast here on the cheekbone, what I'm going to do next is start making this a little bit darker so I can make sure that I'm start, I start looking at the contrast um, in a different way. Yeah. 
this beer here, it's like all the contrast is there, all the tones, but nothing's like sh like sharp. Not sharp. being sharp, sharp, exactly. Yeah. And that is because I'm, I'm I'm using what I already have to kind of blend it out and give it that curve to it. It's kind of hard to explain because I yeah. can see it. So for, but so, try to explain it. So kind of like the short stroke, like brushing with the mag here, like is that kind of like with the beer with the 14 liner? Is like yeah, just pretty much. Or uh, or I also do texture. You can't see the texture, but I'm also doing a lot of texture oh, on true. the beer. The little scribbles, the little dots yeah, that's and circles. True. That's what I'm doing on the beer with the 14 round shader. With the 14 round mm -hmm. like, yeah. So now that I have the, the basic shape of the cheekbone here, now I, I, I do see that it's a little too sharp for me right there. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna fade it out. So with my same, same cartridge, my 11 curve mag, I'm gonna brush it just enough so I can get rid of that sharpness of that beard, just so we can give it more like a natural feel, like if it's actually curving. Mm -hmm. So we have it here and I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna <laughs> get on this position so I'm gonna cover that camera real quick. Let's get rid of that sharpness. And this time, I'm actually gonna brush it. I wanna be super gentle with it to make sure that I don't, go, I don't, I don't do too much. And there you go, just enough. There you go, so I'm gonna continue doing the same thing across the whole face and repeat the same process, dark to light, short strokes, 11 curve mag with the 5.0 voltage. So I'm moving uh, at a good pace. I really like the, the rhythm that, I'm, that I have right now, which is moving up, navigating through it nicely. I'm gonna start doing the socket of the eye now. And honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about statues, because that's what makes the whole face come together. That's what makes the whole thing happen. It gives the whole statue personality. So that's definitely one of my favorite parts uh, about statues. So with the eye socket, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, apply my contrast. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I wanna set the tone. I wanna make sure that I'm not going way too dark. Uh, so first thing is apply my, my, my solid black. Then I'm gonna dip it in, in my medium gray and attack the whole entire eye socket, give it the shape. And at the end, I'm gonna go back to my solid black just to finish off some areas, give it more contrast or, or on, the, on the areas that it needs it. So black, medium gray, then back to my black. The whole thing I'm gonna be using my 14 round liner with a 5.0 voltage. So here we go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I got the goosebumps, bro. Chicken skin, turkey Chicken. pimples. <laughs>